Hi guys, it's Tom here again, back from On The Road, and we've got another video, um, and this one's quite exciting, or um, quite technical, because um, we are going to figure out how to <clears throat> um, dynamically pull access tokens um, for your app on each Shopify store, so you could deploy the app to multiple stores if you really wanted to, which means you don't have to create multiple instances of the same app. Um, and yeah, and also because the way we did it before, we did it uh, using uh, Prisma storage, um, session storage, which is fine in um, development mode, but for mass production mode isn't really uh, suitable. So yeah, so I'm going to walk you through it. So first one would be to create a Superbase account and then create a project. And then when you create a project, you land into the home page, which is this. So we're going to park that right there. And then you probably want to, um, let me just zoom this out quickly. Sorry guys. There we go. Just so you can see everything. Yeah, you're probably going to want to go to, um, which is all in the description below, go to my GitHub. Um, and then you're going to want to pull this uh, repo. So yeah, do that. That's going to give you a base, unless obviously I'm assuming that you haven't, um, that you haven't watched my previous videos. If you watched my previous videos, you've probably already got that repo. So just carry on where we started before. Um, and again, even if you haven't actually watched my uh, previous videos, please watch them because they will give you more context on this. Um, so yeah, super base account set up, get your project set up, really easy. Uh, remember what your what you set as your password um, because I have forgot. So I'm not going to redo this. I'm just going to create. A new project. Um, okay. Right, we're going to save that actually. This one notes for later on, but we're going to save that password. Right, so yeah, we're creating a project on uh, Superbase, so that's how you create one, really easy. Um, again, let's save all that. Right, what we need to do now is get my code up, and if you remember, we were building, last time we were building a uh, post uh, checkout upsell page, which we ended up building. Um, so the key bits that have changed here are not this bit because that's still um getting the api from that the key bits that we're going to want to change here is we're going to first of all want to import database from database.server and that's going to be there um, we're also going to change this code which is also going to have an add us effect on the schema.prisma file and we're going to need the .m file, environment file for our database URL. Um, and then I'll do another video of how to make the products dynamic for you. But this is, we're just, for the moment, we're just dynamically getting the um, access token, which will actually obviously come in handy for the next video. So, yeah. Please uh, follow me. So if I close that, if I close that, let's make this full width. Sorry. So, and then what I've done here is we've already had this code where we're console logging the shop domain. And then we're console logging the shop domain. And then what we're going to want to do is. Actually, we'll get into that later. Let me first of all go to projects. So, sorry, now we go back to uh, our Superbase account. 
um, go to project settings, database, and we're going to want to get um, this database URI from here. Uh, we're going to take that and we're going to put it into our .m file. And then we're going to want to paste in paste in our password we set for that. Save. So that's the environment set up. What we need to change here is, I'm pretty sure it's just this bit that we change. Um, but I'm just gonna have a quick look. Yeah, let's just delete that. ID we need to hold. Yeah, so we just want to change. Oh, so we just want to change this bit. Basically, change the URL um, that we're fetching to the environment URL. Um, and then because of that. This is a bit you probably need to make from you probably need to make from a git repo um, is this file. So um, we're basically just um, connecting up the databases um, uh, slightly differently to how we were before. Um, so that's what the server's doing there, and there is a if statement to um, that has different behaviors based on if it is uh, in production or development mode. What I do need to check with this repo actually is now we change the export to DB. I am pretty sure, yeah, it's Prisma on so if you we also just need to go to the shopify.server.js file change prisma to database and change any instances to that let me just quickly do a search for prisma yeah so we'll call that okie dokie so now we can go into our api.offer.jx file, which is where we're going to need to access that um, token for when we get onto our checkout. So we're just going to delete this, but also just want to run through it with you. Um, So what we're doing here is obviously importing the database from database.server. We can then use that to go find the session that was created when the app got installed, which would be then what we're going to try and find this shop with the shop that we find from session token. This bit will make more sense if you watch past videos, but essentially when the checkout um, upsell checkout page uploads, we get a session token, and from that session token, we can get different pieces of data like the shop domain. So we're just passing passing that shop domain through to uh, Superbase. And um, what we want to try and find is the access token from uh, our Superbase table. And then once we've got that, we can then pass it on to other stuff. So like get offers. So, now we've gone through that, I'm going to go and give it a test. Hey. So guys, the last and final step is we just need to do, well, one of the final steps we need to do is do mbm run prisma dev, uh, sorry, mbm run prism migrate dev. <clears throat> uh, that's going to do its business. So once you've done that, um, let's go into opening the checkout extension. 
you might not have to do this depending on what Shopify app or extension you're building, but this is for the post checkout extension. Just copy that. Save. Uh, yeah, right, so install the app. Yeah. So this should now generate a token within Superbase, which then we can just constantly use throughout um, the following videos and also um, throughout our production of the app. Um, so yeah, so if we go into our Superbase section, session table, there we are. Um, so that's worked and then from here we can carry on building the well in this case a post checkout extension app but in in any case it would be your app and you could deploy it to multiple stores um for instance if we go back to um, api offer this is now going to return, oh no, that's wrong. What we need to do is, we need to get the session from Superbase. So what we can do is, Just nick the code from this, which I built earlier, just to prove a point. Close that, go back to here, get rid of this. This is all code. Put that in there. Save. Import database from data. Nice. So that will sort that bit out. Get a shot from a session token. Yep. So that should theoretically. Now looks fine. Now we go into our store. We should on the last step anyway get some sort of response. Yeah, so that's successfully um, passing through the API token. Nice. So yeah, guys, hopefully that's helped. Um, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how we are going to dynamically pull through uh, product information.